Well, welcome all, and welcome Mr. Barry Peatling to the Barry Peatling Football Show. And welcome to you, Colin Sutcliffe, and all my viewers around Australia and around the world. We're nearly up to 80,000 hits, Colin. Almost 80,000. Nearly, can you believe it? 80,000, that's a lot of hits. Who would have thought? I mean, we've got nothing. When you and I should be getting something from Mr... Uh, we need our cash. YouTube, send me my Mr. cash. Mr. YouTube, like, do the right thing. We've, we've got all these thousands and thousands of people watching our videos, and... What about sending something? If you can pay me PayPal, cash, well, that's yeah. whatever. Whatever whatever you want to do, we'll accept anything, any American dollars, yeah. Japanese dollars, as long as you get some dollars for us. Preferably Australian dollars. Yeah. Now, you want to talk about um, yesteryear, Barry? Yeah, good old yesteryear. yesteryear right. Here, here it is, here. Something for the viewers. Barry picks his... Barry picks his team of the 60s. 60s. That was done about... Whereabouts? What team of 60s where? In the Wimmera League, that was done in... I went up there about... Uh, Eight or nine years ago, up to Horsham, yeah. except for a weekend. I think I told you about it. And, yeah. And of course, I, I, before I went there, I was, I was contacted by Murray Lewis, who wanted to come up to the, the Women Mail Times to do a team in the 60s. Mm -hmm. I asked him mm -hmm. about that earlier. He said, so we come up there and went up there and he got sat me down and I uh, picked my team and all of the players, I like, give, give my rundown of all the players in the team and uh, how good they was and why they, was, why they should have been in the team. Yeah. Of course, uh, I was vice captain. Right. I wasn't too much, but I was good enough to be captain, Colin. But uh, Mick Side was a captain. He, he was captain and coach of Rapanjip, and I mm. reckon I was nearly in his class. And uh, we all sat down and took about an hour and a half to do this. And all the, I, I give the rundown of all the players. It was printed. I went up there on Friday. It was printed on the next Wednesday. Right. That's pretty flash. And apparently, uh, there was about. Two or three hundred extra copies of Women Mail Time sold. Mm, they sold four hundred copies. Well, they sold a lot more. I can tell you, that's true. And of course, uh, well, I thought that was a pretty good. Uh, I wasn't expecting all this publicity. Come on, went up there, and, and he uh, sat him, sat me down, and, uh, and there you go. Mr. Peatney was still making headlines in the sixties and in the nineties. Excellent, very good. So there you go. It's a little bit from yesteryear. Something different to look yes. at. Right, of course, I was picked first rover too. Right. So let's talk about um, what happened on the weekend, Chelsea versus Mount Eliza, and this was at... Mount Eliza, the worst, one of the worst grounds to watch a game of football. Worst grounds to watch in the yeah. world? In the world, yeah. Third world conditions. It there was, was a few uh, beggars, like five beggars on the side of the road. Oh, uh, they were just... Was, and they were, they were wanting to get look, relocated. Look, I was standing in the corner, in the middle part of the ground, and any score was kicked down the other end again. You wouldn't have no idea who's kicked it or marked it. I no. told you to get off the ground. Get off the ground. Oh, no, get off the ground. And, yeah. But the first quarter, the first half. So let's talk about the first half, Barry. We kicked one point. One point only. In the first quarter to them 6-8. I thought this was going to be a complete wipe out. Here we go. But we sort of half come back on the second quarter. I got all the scores down this week. Got all the, oh, excellent. The change. And nice the, change. It makes for a nice change. Yeah, I mean, the first quarter we were six points and they were seven points. No, bigger part. We were one point and yeah. they were seven points. Right. Second quarter, they were, we were 2-2 two, two, and they were 6-8. Right. But the second half, uh, second half. They, uh, they just started to take over. Uh, we just, we had about, I reckon, four or five, might be six players less than two possessions coming. Okay, so by the third quarter? I give the half-time score. The, half -time third quarter, score. the third quarter was we were four goals, three to 9-11, okay. but the only good part about this getting beaten, it's the second time, or second or third week in a row, we've, we've outscored the, the top team in the last quarter, Yeah. kicking so, four goals to two goals. Wow, so we had a good last quarter, but well, it, was, it, was. it was all over. It was over at half time, but... Uh, so the final score was then? 8-4 Chelsea, 2-11, 16, they could have they kicked themselves right out, the, well, they could have been 20 goals, but uh, but it was, they're giving the supporters a little bit of heart the last three weeks from the last quarter. Right. But okay. the only trouble is you play four quarters in this game. And it's a bit hard to win it with one quarter. Right, okay. So uh, that's the, the final score. Final score. A little disappointing. We lost by about four goals. Yeah. Four or five goals. Now you want the goal kickers? Let's talk about the goal kickers, Barry. Jesse Davis, number 55. Mm-hmm. Started on the bench. I'll tell you, tell you something about who else started on the bench in a minute before the game. You'll get the good shock of your life. Okay. Brain two goals. He kicked two beautiful goals. And Toddy Garner kicked two. Jack Francis played. Yeah. I'll tell you a bit more about him later too in this talk of, talk back today. And yeah. Daly Shannon, who was going to be a, 
a very good player the next few years as well. Number 27, right. mark my word. Very good. Of course, Jack Francis is going to be a superstar too. Right. Now, you want the best players? Give us the group of best players. Well, not, not in order, but uh, Bradley Clark as usual, Truey, the big ruckman, number 11, Paul Well. Paul Well, then Paul. I like, P A W E L. How do you pronounce that? Paul. Paul Well. Paul. Paul. Stupid name. Mm -hmm. Jesse Davis, Curtis, Curtis Bywater, Brainy, Toddy Gardner. Right, okay. So let's get the votes then, Barry. The votes were one vote. One vote to uh, Brainy. Brainy, yeah. Tommy Brainy. Number one vote. Two votes. Two votes to Bradley Clark. And three votes. Three votes to Truey, who is having a magnificent season. He'll might he might uh, give Toddy Gardner a fright in the best of fairest to Oh, okay. Well, it's not, a, it's not a one horse race this year. No, no way. Um, it's, it's a lot open. Um, but anyway, we'll see what happens. Now, you want to say something about Toddy Gardner? Yeah, I certainly do. And he, I'll tell you uh, what. Probably started right in the middle. Right in the middle or around the side of the ground. But yeah. uh, we went out to the French to watch the start of the game. We st oh, we stand near the coach's yeah. box as usual. Oh my god, get over here, Barry. Yeah. Uh, teams run out, players come off, anything comes off and starts on the bench. Yeah, it's a modern way, Barry. Toddy Gardner. It's a modern way. Brett. But what's your thought on it? Tell Brett. Brett. Uh, what my thought, and my fellows are standing around, we said, well, I actually, his old man called him, I said, are you alright? He said, yeah. He didn't know anything about he's going to be starting on the bench. This is a superstar captain. <laughs> Five times best and fairest player, mm -hmm. starting on the bench, and Jesse Davis was on the bench too, number 55. Oh, what are, I so said, what's your message, Barry? What's my message? Yeah, what, what are you what, going to say? What is, what? What's, his, uh, what's his rhyme or reason to play your, your captain, best and fairest player all the year, the last five years, on the bench? Four words. It's in a, a disgrace. It's... Well, not only, it wasn't only me, I had a bit of a yell out, but there was two or three other, probably four or five fellas or so. When I asked his father, I said, oh, call him over and ask him what he's on the bench for. So he will not happy. He said he, he didn't know. Just another case of local coaches following the AFL. No, no, he's a... Uh, trying to... I cannot... Uh, Brett, I don't know what, what's your uh, idea of, of trying to start your best play on the bench. It's pretty hard to get a kick and take a mark and kick a goal on the bench. That's disgusting. I don't know what you're doing, mate. So but there's a message. Up. But some harsh words from Barry. Uh, to the uh, coach. Not only me, it's about half a dozen fellas say, what, what are you doing? What is going on? What's happening? I mean, and the other fella too is on number 55. Crazy. There we go. So, um, just um, a change of tack slightly, um, but more criticism. AFL umpires. Look, I told you a couple of weeks ago about these AFL umpires. They are getting worse. And I was watching a game in Richmond and uh, Carlton. Richmond Carlton, I watched most of the game, and it was, oh, it was driving me mad, they'll, they'll, every time a ball up or throw in the band drive, uh, so and so, so, you, 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 yeah. uh, and they were just, and some of the free kicks they were playing, the only, what they're worrying about the umpires now is getting, picking the two players to go up in the ruck during the, mm. during the game, it's you understand? A big deal. It's a big deal. They, they think that's, they are, the, we're, we're the boss, you, do, you can't go up, you can't go up, and they're treating these players like little boys. And I'll tell you what, they think they're the policemen on the ground. I don't know what, who's behind these umpire, umpire's advisors, but they're stuffing up the game. Crazy, isn't it? Smart enough. Nice as well. Like, why don't they just, um, t t two players go up, just any two players go up. Yeah, but the way they're talking to players yeah, around the ground crazy. too. Hey, you're not supposed to be there or, or something like that. Yeah, I mean, they be think, careful, be careful. They think they're the coaches. Wow. Oh. God, I might. I actually turned it off for a quarter. It's pretty bad. So that's um, a couple of um, things that have taken um, Barry's fancy. Who are we playing next week, Barry? Pines at Pine. At Pines Ground. It's another ordinary ground another too. Another Frankston Ground. At the Pines. That's one of your favourite areas. Pines? Yeah. You reckon? No, not really. Pretty feral over there. Boy, pretty feral. You usually take your, um, your guard dog with you and the baseball bat. But I think it's improved the last few years. It when I first came into Chelsea. Hello to our Law of Pines viewers as well. Well, it's a little bit better and a bit more civilised now, but ten years ago they were pretty rugged, I can tell you now. Come on the ground and take over. So that's happening next week, Barry. Yeah. What about Tunicherios? 
Cheerios, I don't know if PH, I, I can't ring him, but uh, Cheerio at you, PH, and your car, I hope you're going right. If you want to give me a ring, yes, and give me a ring. So What's if, going if, on? If you want to give me a ring, I'll, I'll give you. I can't ring you, alright? Right, right. Uh, why can't you ring him? Just can't get through. How old you wish you go? I think he's blocked you. No, I, no, he's not blocked me at all. He's blocked you, you banned you, he's no, barred no, you. No, because he said, why don't you ring me? Because I rang up once, I rang up three times one night about two or three months ago. Yeah. And he actually rang me back. But he's barred you. Just no, he, barred he, you. he rang me up. He, he, I couldn't get through. It's something on the system. It's a bar. Anyway, let's move on from any other Cheerios, Barry. Tell my little darling Ning I was talking to her. And Just before, why? You, talking to her, you mm. and I were talking to her before. And Special hello uh, to you, Ning. Ning, she's going all right. And of course, her little grandson's with him today, and here you're watching little JJ. Little Jay. JJ. Jumping he's a, Jay. He's a little super, that's Ning's grandson. Right. You're a little superstar, Jay. You're going to be. A, you're going to kill the girls too I mean, when you grow up. Oh, he's got a girlfriend now. He's only nine year old. Wow. Got a girlfriend. What was her name? Uh, Madge or something like that. Madge. Cheerio, Jude. Yeah. Jay, look after your grandma. See you, right? Be a good boy and look after your grandma because he's staying there for a week. Yep. So there you go. That's really about all I got. For, I've got all that stuff off my chest. About mm. I said, look, I still cannot get over it. Scotty Gardner. Yeah. I mean, if I was captain, that was me. I just run. I got straight on the ground. Something's wrong. Anyway, well, what sort of what sort of, what, what sort of brains a coach got to do? Copy, copy the AFL. That's all. No, they're not. It's the same with running off. No, the... you said that last week. No, there's no. That, exactly. He doesn't take no of the captain. Viewers, that's exactly it. There's no mm. captains being taken off the ground. Let's start on, on the bench in, in the VFL. I've seen AFL. I've seen. Yeah, they do it all the time. Well, I, well, I don't Melbourne know. famously did their both their co captains start them on bench. Well, that was easy, I remember that. But this is. Uh, this is a... Pendlebury sometimes starts on the bench. Well, well that's a little bit different because they're, they're, all, they're all classy players. I'm not right? saying it's right. That's wrong. Um, but... Because it's a bit weird. Like, what are you starting on the bench for? What rest do you need? No, no, well, look, you, you need look, your best players on no, the ground look, straight up. Look, Tommy Gardner. He's one of the superstars of football, of the whole competition, and it's a very look. He was standing. I was watching. It, it, it was that embarrassed, Colin. Mm -hmm. I mean, we're not a very good side, and he's our star. Yeah, you sit him on the bench. And that he's starting sense. on the bench. Just Jesus to, just Christ! To get the mix up. Well, and you settle, settle down, settle down. And Barry. the other fellow, Jesse, he's going to be a superstar. And he was on the bench too. Mm. But I hope you got this message, Brett, because it, uh, the other fellows got the same idea that, that it ain't right. Yeah. Far from right. Anyways, that's, that's it for the Cheerios. Cheerios, didn't I? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, that's all for me today. Make your pardon yeah. out of here. That's all for me today. And that's bye bye from me. See you all next week, and hopefully uh, we might have a win to talk about. Bye bye. Bye bye. We just need to keep executing, working on our execution. We turn the ball over too easily, just by foot or just with that, that one crazy handball to a guy who's calling for it in the wrong position. So we just need to, keep, we need to keep working on that, we need to keep working on that 100% of the time. Alright. <coughs> Alright, let's go. Oh, let's go look, got to look forward very quickly here. Yeah. I don't want to go through this rest of the season, like I said, at half time, I'm based on good efforts. You know, that was, you know. <coughs> I, mean, I, I guarantee you one of the other coaches will ring me tomorrow or Monday and say, <coughs> you guys must have been, you must be feeling pretty happy, you did well again. <coughs> How do we do well? <coughs> we win a game and, and we know our best is good enough. So we really must focus on Karingal next week. We can go, like what we said at that meeting, we can go down and just, everything goes down. Training, attendance, effort, you know, we just go down like the weather basically. So let's come back, we play Frankston Park next week. We're going to have to execute there because we've got plenty of space to do it in. And we rebound really, really quickly from that. Um, I thought you struggled today. Yeah. Battled away there. <laughs> um, just as an example, <coughs> like that, we, were, we weren't really sure about that kid because he can play. He's Casey Lister player, um, you know, draft prospect, good, good, good player at tag cup level. Um, I just thought you were outstanding. I, I, I. Out of all the games that I've been involved in as a football coach, that's the best individual game I've seen play. Well <laughs> <laughs> he told me to say that.
Dad, my scratching me head. Challenge for you, and you know, if you can grow your footy and play different options and meet big challenges like that, that's just that's good for you and it's good for the footy club. So I thought you were really good. Wow. Um, Simon, Simon Mitchell held really good again. Yes, yes. Tripper, looked like you were back a bit today. Yeah. <coughs> really, you know, busted your ass and ran really hard and got those extra possessions that were missing from the game. Yeah. Uh, big as I thought. Yeah, you yeah. 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 got the right ruckman. Oh yeah, yeah. That's for sure. Had, we, had, we had two choices and we made the right one. He ate a cow, I think. <laughs> he did eat something. <laughs> and then did not eat. Small child. Still a fucking lot of joking here. Just, no, and we got him for half the price. <laughs> Money <laughs> um, The other one I thought, the other guy I thought that did the job that um, <coughs> just surprises me, really surprises me with his effort. <coughs> <coughs> Just his sheer willpower. Uh, Jesse Davis is my man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, like in the ruck, just working really, really hard and this is making, making contest and then forward to kick the couple, which is really, really good. As, it's as frustrating as it gets when you when the gap is that is narrow. <coughs> but I can tell you, I can tell you that you're gonna have to work hard at. You're good. You're gonna to have to work. You're gonna to have to work harder. You're starting to get there, but you're gonna to have to work harder. You're gonna to have to keep working hard. You're okay in parts. You've got to get those setups and structures right. Good. You need to work harder again. Not bad. Mason, no, weren't in it today. So you're just gonna to have to train and do all the right things during the week to get us there. You know, all those three boys I spoke about. Brain, we gave you a different role, which was okay today. But now next week you're gonna to have to come back and really like take that roll on again and see if we can get four or five out of it. Trent, you're just gonna to have to get yourself, your mind locked into the game, you're just wandering too much. Luke, good, solid. Benny Holman, you need to get that ankle right. Jack, first time, you know, first time back, so you, you got a little bit rusty, so we go with that. Brody, still gonna to have to find your way at this level. Todd, solid again, but you know what that those midfielders got us, same Brad. Good with you, good by foot today, but with those midfielders got it. Kingy saying you're going to have to do more work because you're not at the level yet, yeah? But you, you're certainly the next best thing, so keep your head up. Jace, just, you know, probably second half that work rate come back, which, you know, missing a few weeks, missing that week and whatever, your work rate's back. Same, Jesse, second half was super, but first half you were just sort of fumbly a bit and you weren't working. Just, it just didn't work out the middle for, for a, a period there. But I thought. As the game went on, we worked a lot harder, and we got the results. So, you know, Todd and Brad and, and Jesse start to get the ball because it comes down to work rate. That's what it comes down to, and we have to bring that nice and early next week and get it. <coughs> Guys, while you're all sitting here nice and quiet, I know you guys are in the first half. Give them their due, but they come out, they come out raring to go, and we just. We